unboxing of the side click this was a Kickstarter uh, one of the few ones that I've seen that came to fruition and actually looks like it was a decent product uh, this is for your streaming devices I we live by these Amazon uh, fire devices we cut the cord some time ago but you know trying to find the remote and this the TV remote always seems to go missing so this is designed to fix that problem so you get this nice decent you know looks like it's ready for retail as you can see it was a Kickstarter um, simple setup this one's for the fire TV and the fire TV stick uh, let's pop her open and see what's what there's that you know, it's nothing too deluxe about it. Oh, it's <laughs> got a couple pieces of stickiness there on there. The directions looks pretty straightforward. Includes two. Oh yeah. So rather than creating two different products, each one of these ships with an adapter for each. I guess it's just cheaper to sell it that way. Uh, that one has more curved base. That one's more square, so that one probably goes with that. That one probably goes with that. There's that. We got a battery. Anything else? Nothing of our sleeves. There we go. So. The looks like it's pretty straightforward. That snaps into that. I'm gonna slide it up there. There's that. Now that one fits nice and snug. Look at that. That's really well suited to that. This one fits decently enough. It definitely feels like it's an add-on. That feels like it was almost designed like for that from the beginning. There's your device. It clicks on there, locks into place. Battery compartment. Can I access it with if I had nails? I don't. That's right. One, two. There we go. And we're ready to go. To program it, we press these two buttons till that comes on. Then you point your other device at this. You press the one you want to program. Say it's your power button. You press the power button on the other one, and that programs it. I'll show you guys. Yeah, how to use that in a few minutes. Um, anyway, to remove it, oh, this is good and locked in there. Yep. So we got to pop that out, and there's a little tab right there. So you can use your finger, your index finger. My index finger isn't that small. There's no way I can I can do it if I lift that up, and I got to lift up and down, slide it at the same time. That's not too hard. There we go. Pop that off of that one. Line them up like that. And we are good to go. I mean, if you compare the build quality on this, To the build quality. I would say, that, you know, the build quality on the Amazon Fire TV remote is superb. It has that kind of slightly rubbery kind of feel. It, it's an excellent controller. This is a lot cheaper, plasticky, 
and it feels like it. This feels better than this, but not as good as this. But it's close. I mean, I'm really impressed with the build quality on this. Get your little side click logo there. And, uh, the uh, you guys want to see the connectors. So I can do this again without cutting myself. And that's where the connectors look like. You got those that lined it up, and you got that's the one that locks it in place. Yeah, I guess you could use it just like that if you wanted to, but that would kind of defeat the point. So we're gonna take this back inside. Okay, we're gonna try and program the side click here. Okay, as you can see our TV is on. The side click says that it's programmed. We're gonna try the power. Oh, <laughs> TV turns off. Takes a minute before our TV will turn back on. Uh, it's a Vizio uh, 70 inch. It was one of those uh, Black Friday specials. Uh, underneath it is a Vizio sound bar. And if you can barely see in the lower left hand corner, there's a little dim white light that should get brighter when I press volume up. And it's not doing that. It's doing volume down, but it's not doing volume up. We're going to have to come back and try that one. Um, I don't really have any channels programmed. Uh, I can do my inputs. Select. Select works. I can do this. Exit works. And that's what I have. I have power, volume up and down, channel up and down, the input button, the select button, and the exit button. Okay, we're going to try it again. Let's see if the volume works. Volume up. Volume down. Um, so you get get your side click and you can see that in the unboxing portion and it I mean it feels really good I'll be honest I wish it were on the other side because I'm using this control 99% of the time I'm just really using this for volume and to turn it on and off and with for my size of hands I wish it was reversed because that would be much easier for me to use like that than to use like this and if I have to hold it all the way over here, but then bring my thumb all the way over there. So I'm kind of doing it like this. It's a little ungainly, but I don't see any way with this. Maybe they'll come out with a left click version. But yeah, it almost needs a little tab on the back so I can hold it. Okay, so I've been using it for about an hour now. And if you remember, I said that I was having a problem with controlling it like this because my hands need to be fully encompassed. And if I do that, then my thumb is naturally over here. I can't hold it this way in my hand and then easily do this over here. So I was like, how can I move it to the other side? So I flipped it over. It's upside down, as you can see. And I can now have my thumb right where I need to be and I can control everything. The problem being, I can't use the TV remote with it like this. I have to do that. Which, as you can tell, is horrible. Because why would I want to do that every time I use the TV remote? I have to be doing this constantly. Except, how often do you, if you're using the TV the way I use it, how often do you actually need the TV remote? I only use the TV remote when I turn the TV on. Uh, when I turn it off and when I adjust the volume. And as such, it is no sweat for me to, to be using it like this, hit play and go, oh, it's too loud, and just flip it like that, hit my volume up or down, flip it around again. See, I mean, it's, in fact, it's actually kind of natural to do this. T -t -t -t. Flip around, it's kind of fun. <laughs> You can get pretty good, actually. In fact, I was using it for a while. And I didn't even realize, you know, that I'd gotten so used to flipping around. Actually, the biggest thing I'm having trouble with getting used to is not setting it down and reaching for the TV remote. But I'm so used to having the two remotes going back and forth 
but they keep doing it. Anyway, it's very good looking. The build quality on it is excellent. Uh, setup time was nothing. Um, it seems to hold everything just fine. It, you know, it's not like it's going to come apart. That's my two cents. I would give the side click a. Uh, could you give it 10 stars for what it is? You know, they they went through some issues. They got it shipped out. Um, it was super easy to set up. It really, you know, other than the fact that you can't put it on, you can't choose what side to put it on, um, it's darn near a perfect product for what it is. It's a perfect, it's, a, it's serving an imperfect solution, so there's no way to have a perfect solution for it. Um, I, I think it's a very elegant solution for what it is, for the problem it solves. Um, I, I, I would definitely consider, if you use a streaming, if you use your TV as a primarily as a streaming device where you've got either an Apple remote or an Amazon remote or any of the other ones that they support, th this is a must-buy. Uh, it, it, it really is.